Okay, so I just wanted to review um, kind of simple circuit when we start actually talking about circuits. So the first thing I really want to talk about is kind of our Ohm's law of power, basic circuit, solving the basic circuit, and then we start looking at series circuit and then parallel circuit. And then we'll actually go on to voltage drop. So <clears throat> let's um, just begin. We'll do this, this first one with the circuit. So um, let's just remember we, we say, all right, our all right, we say <clears throat> voltage is equal to an exchange resistance, where voltage is our electrical pressure. And amperage is the flow of the electrons, which we also call current, times resistance. Okay. <clears throat> so they're measured in volts equal to amps times okay. And this is ohms. You can write it this way too. All right. <clears throat> and so, just kind of reviewing that, we can solve a simple circuit once we know two of the um, two of the variables, and we solve for the third. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we also want to talk a little bit. We'll come back to it, but we'll talk a little bit about the the relationship. So let's just do a simple circuit. So that's our battery. And I'm just going to put a load in here. Okay. And this is load one, which is also going to be resistance one. All right. And if we know that we have <clears throat> 12 volts here, and we know our circuit has a current of 2.5 amps, then we are going to solve is by reversing our equation. So we multiply, excuse me, divide both sides by ohms. And so that would give us resistance is equal to volt. volts times ohms. Okay. <clears throat> so we're looking for the resistance. So in this case, we would know that 12 volts divided by 2.5 Our resistance is going to be equal to It's going to give me 4.8 ohms. So R1 is that 4.8 ohm. So now let's just, we talked about the relationship of volts and, and amps to each other. And so if we <clears throat> took our equation and we rearranged it, we would have amps is equal to volts over resistance. Alright, so if I so for instance, in this, I increase my voltage. So instead of 12 volts, I have a circuit that has 24 volts, okay? And my resistance stayed the same, 4.8 ohms. Then I want to determine what my amps are, so I'll say amps is equal to 24 volts divided by 4.8 ohms. <clears throat> so we get an amperage of 5 amps. So what this relationship could tell you is that 
as we increase our voltage, our amps are going to go up. Okay? So we're going to see an increase in amperage, we see an increase in voltage. So that should mean that if we see an increase in ohm in resistance, we should see a decrease in amperage. So let's do this one more time. So let's take a look at Okay, and this time we're going to say that our resistance is 6 ohms, right? So if we have 6 ohms, <coughs> so our amps are going to volt over resistance. So we have 24 volts divided by 6 ohms, right? And we should have 4 Right, so we can see that when we, when we took our amperage and volts to resistance, we increased the resistance, so we went from 4.8 to 6 ohms, increased the resistance, our amps went from 5 to 4, so our amps go down. And this should make sense. <clears throat> the amperage is our current. It's the, the rate of the flow of electrons, right? The rate of the flow of the electrons. Okay, so if we increase the resistance in our circuit, much um, like if we added additional components, we increase the resistance. Our the rate of our flow will decrease. So that relationship should make sense to you. So just keep in mind that when voltage goes up amps would go up. When resistance goes up, amperage goes down. Okay? So that's just our basic use of our, um, our Ohm's law and a circuit and where we're solving the different variable. Um, if we wanted to solve for voltage, we could do that. So we could say We're looking for both of these case. Okay. All right, and we have our current, our amp, is going to be three amps. All right, and the voltage is what we are looking for. And our resistance is going to be equal to six. Moments. So voltage is equal to amps times resistance. So two amps or two a you can say you can write this or two a times six ohms and that comes in twelve volts. Okay. So we could solve for any one of the variables. Now when we start looking at series and parallel circuits. We have to kind of do a, something a little bit different. So, just bear with me and then introduce you first to series circuit. Okay. So, a series circuit is going to be where we have our resistance in series. So, here we have. Go one, go two. Okay. And if we wanted to solve a, we wanted to get the total resistance of the circuit, we, in a series circuit, we're just going to add the two resistances. So for a series circuit, resistance, the total resistance, so RT, RT is going to be equal to R1. 
R P plus. So however many resistors that we have in total. So if we want to figure this out, first let's give these guys a, a resistance. So this is going to be six ohms. This is going to be two ohms. Right? So in this case, our L1, our resistance one, so is the slow one. Resistance two. So resistance one is six ohms plus two ohms, and that's going to give us eight ohms total for our resistance. So now, if we want to figure out the amperage, we need to use the twelve volt system. We can figure out that twelve volt divided by eight ohms. So anything here in series, we can have multiple things and they just kind of go further, further in there. We could add additional ones in there. We have one here. We could have one down here. Anytime you have them on the same circuit, you're going to be given a series. They're one right after the other. Okay. So that's important to keep in mind is that they're one right after the other. Now, if we were dealing with a circuit in parallel, so a parallel circuit, so it's where our um, our resistors are in parallel, so we come down. All right, so we have our, so this would be R one, R two, okay. And so the, the, um, in the parallel circuit, what we're going to see is that the resistance total is going to equal 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 all to the negative 1. Or you can write it as <clears throat> one over R two plus one over R one plus one over R two plus one over R three. The one thing you need to think about is that the total resistance in a parallel circuit is going to be less than the smallest resistor. So, for instance, if this is 2 ohms and this is 4 ohms, the total is going to be, this total is going to be less than that total. Right? So, let's just take a look at this local. Alright, and so, if we just wanted to get the resistance total, we get the resistance total is equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 to the negative 1. So that is going to be 1.33 ohms. And so we can see the smallest resistor is 2. This is less than that um, smallest resistor. 